So in China, they got a saying, talk does not cook rice. Think about that one for a second. Talk does not cook rice. Meaning, talking about your problems or solutions is not equivalent to working out a solution. <laughs> That's the topic of today's show. I'm actually, I just cooked some, I just cooked some rice in my own rice cooker now, so I thought of that. But um, letting my food cool down and I'm coming in from a little shift that I did here. For those of you that don't know, I've been taking on some part-time slash full-time or whatever as necessary um, gig driving jobs in order to supplement my website income and stuff like that. I have a lot to handle, more so than the most people. I have property taxes, condo, apartment rent, shit going on, spinning plates in multiple countries, and I'm not trying to lose any of my shit. Most of you people listening to this don't have 26 acres of land to pay property tax on. You don't have a condo in Thailand. You don't have an apartment in Vegas. Nor do you have cars and bikes and shit scattered all over the world that require parts, maintenance, and let alone just, I haven't even gotten to the human element of other people just hitting me up for my favors and time and money and resources and things like that. So it's often necessary for me to cook rice. I don't always have time to talk in podcast and deliberate about what's going on in my world and inner circle and stuff like that, but do believe and do know that I'm a hustling, working, selling, everything person. Always working for myself at the end of the day, but at the end of the day, aren't we all anyway? <laughs> Even if you're on a job, right? So don't get me wrong now, Shimmy Cash, me, I love making my shows, I love making my movies, I love selling my movies, please buy them, wink wink, Google Shimmy Cash, right, look up the new White Girl Cop series if you haven't already, but when I'm not doing that, and when I'm not YouTubing, and when I'm not running races, and traveling, and going here and there, sometimes I gotta slow down, and sometimes hit the brakes, and sometimes stop to recharge and refuel, and make some bucks, right? And I've been doing that by working some hours at night and sometimes in the morning and stuff like that, just utilizing my car and soon to be my bike for delivery gigs or whatever. And it's not, some of you might say, oh my God, the great and mighty Shimmy Cash is delivering packages and pizzas in a Porsche and a Ducati, no less. Yes, I am, nigga, because no one's going to do it for me. And I'm not asking slash begging nor even requesting help for anybody else, right? If you niggas want to go make a GoFundMe or help fund Shimmy Cash's project shit, by all means, go do that. There's actually a link on the Minivids page if those of you guys want to sponsor a movie or some shit like that. But for the most part, I realize that in life, in the game of life, you got to solve your own problems, okay? It's actually wrong of you to throw your problems on other people. <laughs> then you become a liability. So being that I'm not like a freeloader type of individual... I got to come up with a number and to solve a spreadsheet problem. I've said this time and time and again in older shows that I've done. You cannot fight numbers with alphabets. When you have a numerical problem, a problem to solve, a number to come up with, be it for a bill, a rent, a payment, a mortgage, a tax, a debt, or whatever it might be, you got to service that number. And you can't service that number with ABC alphabets no matter what country you come from, even if you're a fucking alien race or whatever, it doesn't matter. You have to come up with the number at some point. So that means whatever you're selling your marketing needs to be sufficient enough to cover your expenses. And if it's not, you may have to sell some of your labor or time until your products and services or whatever can also stay afloat. And like me, you may have to do a combination of both. Now, you actually don't have to do anything if you don't want nothing out of life. But unfortunately, I actually want shit. I like to travel. I like my cars, bikes, toys. I like my girlfriend. I like my apartment. I like my condo. I like my acres of land. And I'm holding on to all this shit because I'm willing to work for it, sell for it, and do what I do. Now, if you're just an average motherfucker, you're just freeloading in somebody's garage or some shit like that, then you don't really have to do anything. But do believe that someone is paying for your electricity. Someone is paying every time you flush the toilet, every time you turn on the stove, every time you turn on the fan, turn on your computer, somebody else is paying for that shit if you're not paying for it directly. So it's just facts to consider. You know, everyone's got to wipe their own ass in the world. So doing what I am, sometimes I get back up against the wall. Not all my business plans are successful. 
And for those of you who don't know, most, if not all, of my beginning movies when I first started out, they were funded by me doing little shitty, menial jobs. I've taken on these, like, brand ambassador jobs, wear your khakis, go to the mall with a clipboard, brand ambassador, any, <laughs> anything you could think of, I, I will do it. I've worked for fucking Zumba, the... The U.S. Army, the this, Ford Motors, all, all sorts of companies and stuff that I don't endorse or agree with or whatever, but you're paying me 10, 15, 20 bucks an hour to put on a t-shirt and some khakis and do some manual labor, move some boxes, fuck it, I'll go do it, right? Because I can use those resources to further my own cause and this and that while still maintaining my autonomy, right? And I'm one of the, probably one of the only people you'll ever meet in life that has, hasn't had like a boss or a supervisor or a manager over them in like two or three decades or whatever. I've pretty much worked for myself all my life and when I do hustle like this, I'm still the boss. I can stop and start at my own leisure. I can quit at any time, push the stop button on my phone, turn my phone off and I'm done. No penalty, no repercussion, no one breathing down my neck. The joy of being self-employed. Now of course you gotta come up with your own funds and stuff like that most of the time and you got your own expenses but Hey, it's the life I choose to live. It's kind of important for me to be in control, be the boss, and have the power to stop, and to have the power to walk away, and to have the power to quit whenever I feel like it, at any given time, for any reason, without having to explain myself to anybody. That's one thing that most people can't consider, and I'm talking to you, Mom, who keeps sending me all these stupid job requests. I do not want to work for people, period. I am the boss. Get that through your head before you send me suggestions, all right? Please and thank you. You know, it's like, and I'm really ironically surprised. You know, it took me a minute. I actually, my mama listens to this channel all the time. I blocked her for like a week because it just got too to my head enough. I'm sick of people trying to solve my problems for me when they don't realize what skills, ability, time, resources, or whatever I have for something. If I was a fucking genius, I'd build a space shuttle and fly away from this fucked up planet believe that but since I don't have that intelligence or knowledge or whatever I am currently playing the game as it was given to me and the world that it was given to me as I didn't make it this way this is how it turned out this is the level I was thrown into these are my tools and resources so a big part of life is actually I find utilizing your skills and abilities to get ahead me doing this little delivery driver job it doesn't bother me so much I don't have to deal with people it's pretty much no contact Package here, package there, A to B, drive my own car, wear my own clothes, stop and start whenever I feel like it. Sounds all right to me. The pay kind of sucks, but whatever. The cost of paying the cost to be the boss, right? Now, I might not do so well if you sit me and, you know, go have me flip burgers or be an accountant or be in an office or just have anybody over me that wants to flex their nuts or ovaries. That's going to be a problem because I don't have the ability to go and deal with people like that on this level. You cannot pay me enough to deal with people. That's why I am the boss and always have and will be the boss. Now, I can submit myself voluntarily for short-term contractual employment, meaning that I do the job and I submit for a limited amount of time and then it's over. But as far as indefinite slavery, where I constantly have a boss or overseer, supervisor, fuck that. Fuck you. Fuck your company. You got the same problem I got. You know, you got two testicles just like me. Fix your own goddamn problem. Your company is not my problem, right? And that's how it works with independent contractors, whether you know it or not. We're, we're for hire per gig, per basis. I respect you. You respect me. You get the product. Our contract is over. <laughs> if you want to do it again insert coin to continue basically so that's the kind of work that I live with and that's the life that I live right and so far it's uh, it's a hammer for me to forge my way through the world that I don't mind doing you know I like street racing at night anyway so I get to go and deliver packages and food and shit like that occasionally until my movies and my other stuff are rolling and my other sites are open and blah 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 it's necessary often to do these things to fund my movie projects and I'll say it again most of those movies from Indian Girls to Tico's all those old shits they're funded by my manual labor I have no problem putting my nose to the grindstone putting on the uniform 
and doing shit for people for a limited amount of time because I know that I'm going to use those funds to build something for myself so that I ultimately won't have to do this. And yes, I will be going back to making movies and all that shit very shortly once I have the funding, blah, 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 blah. But movies require money and lots of it. And no one's out here trying to donate to my cause, etc. So you can just buy the end product once it's released. So... That's all I got to say now, coming up on 10 minutes. Other than that, check out The Shimmy Show and check out whitegirlcops.com. It's officially launched. I'm still doing some tour tweaks to the design and stuff like that. Check that out. Check out the Ticos. Check out Indian Girls and keep it rolling and I'm going to keep it moving. You guys keep stay tuned for more podcast shows. If I find some cool shit on the internet that I want to share, I may put it on the channel. It doesn't necessarily reflect my views and all that kind of stuff, but for now it's... Uh, it's stuff I think people might want to see. So, more on that later. And when I have time away from this modern day slavery I'm doing right now to just stay afloat and shit like that, since uh, I wasn't like grandfathered into a family of wealth, land, houses, and shit like that, Jim Crow, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, it's fucked up. So, it's generational struggling. But I'll have you know, you know, I'm setting my kids up so they don't have to go through this shit. For any of you out there that have kids, if you don't have any land or a house or a business or something to help push them along in life, you're really doing them a, a huge fucking disservice. You're pretty much submitting them to decades of slavery that they didn't have to do, all because you didn't make a simple decision, you know, 10, 20 years ago to go and acquire something meaningful or build a business for yourself or buy some land or a house and hold on to the fucking thing. It's really that simple. So. You know, people always are like, oh, kids need to go to education. You need to go finish school. No, you need to go buy some fucking land and buy a house that you should have done a long time ago so that niggers don't have to pay two, three, four, five thousand dollars a month for rent and pretty much slave away 75% of their day. So I accept no blame or responsibility for that shit. I'm getting my own. My kids are taken care of and stuff like that. But I feel like much of the generations, black people in general, and I'm talking about black people specifically, mostly have fallen off in this regard, you know, and it's factual, prove me wrong, prove me wrong, <laughs> like they say, if I'm lying, sue me for slander, but I know what the black family's net worth is, and it's usually negative, no assets, no this, no that, just fucking problems, debt, sickness, and this, that, I'm tired of hearing about these phone calls, mom, I'm talking directly to you, stop telling me about people in the hospital, people in the nursing home, people disabled, people broke, I am not interested in the news. They need to hustle, and I need to hustle, so I don't end up in their same predicament. How about that? Talk does not cook rice. You like it if you like it. I'm out of here. Bye.